Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we are going to understand one of the most important concepts in digital electronics, the Millet machine. You might have already heard about finite state machines or FSMs. So let's quickly recall what an FSM is. So finite state machine is a sequential logic circuit that changes its state based on input and current state. It means, see, digital circuits are broadly classified into two parts. Combinational circuits where output depends on present inputs only and sequential circuits where output depends on present input as well as the past state of the flip-flops. So, FSM is nothing but sequential circuit. It means they have memory element present in them. And here word finite indicates the circuit has finite number of states. So, FSM, finite number of state means its outputs are limited or it goes through limited number of states. So, they are divided into two types, Moore machine and Millet machine. Basic difference between two of them is in case of Millet machine, output depends on present state of flip-flops. It means present output as well as what current external input I am applying. So, input and present state of flip-flops is equally important here. So, as soon as input changes, our output changes. It will not wait for present output to change. In case of Moore machine, and that is why we call Mille as asynchronous. And in case of Moore machine, output depends on present state of flip-flops. Even if external input changes, output of Moore FSM will not change until and unless clock will come. So, in this session, we will talk about Mille FSM. So, in Millet machine, output depends on present state as well as present input. So, let's draw the block diagram. So, here we have next state decoder. It means it decodes next state based on present state. Then, we have memory means register or flip-flops. And then we have output decoder see here what we have memory or resistors it means here we apply external clock because whenever we use flip-flops we apply clock to them here what we connect is external input so external input is given to next state decoder next state decoder will decode next state or decide next state here this circuit is some combinational circuit it has let's say and gates or or gates then the output of next state decoder is connected to memory or resistors. And then output of this memory flip-flops is connected to output decoder. As well as at the same time this output is fed back to this next state decoder. So, we have these are called as states and these are external inputs. Now, see here the important thing is in case of Moore machine, I am not talking about Millet. In Moore machine, output depends on present state of memory elements only. But in Millet FSM, here final output of circuit depends on this present state as well as present input. You need to remember this basic difference. So, here this final output depends on present state as well as present external input. So, in Millet machine, these six parameters are very important and the same parameters are used in Moore machine also. See here, first parameter Q. Q means finite state, uh, set of states. So, here in FSM, we have finite number of states. Then set of input symbols. So in digital input symbol can be 0 or 1. So input can be either 0 or 1. So here next is set of input symbols. <coughs> this indicates set of output symbols. So output can be 0 or 1. 
or they can be any output a b c or they can be any input a b c next indicates next state function so next state function means next state depends on here next state depends on present state as well as present input lambda is output function and here output also depends on what present state as well as present input so it determines the output of the system and q0 indicates initial state so when we start the fsm what initial state is so q0 is initial state so these six symbols are very important okay let me explain this with the help of some example let's say i wanted to design a system which will detect two consecutive ones so when two consecutive ones will come then output is equals to 1 otherwise output is 0 so i wanted to design a system which will detect whether two continuous ones are coming or not so this is fsm so it has states so let's say this is my first state s 0 my first state is state 0 s 0 so what should come one should come so if one will come it will go to next state s1 if one will come then and output is zero so left hand side is input right hand side is output so if one is correct bit but entire sequence is not yet detected so output will remain zero but what if first bit zero will come zero is wrong bit so system will remain in same state with output is equals to 0 when system is in state s1 and if 1 will come next bit is 1 so if 1 will come it will go to state s1 or it will remain in state s1 and now output will become 1 because now entire sequence is detected this is 1 and this 1 so output is 1 but here there is probability that first bit is 1 but next bit can be 0 so if 0 will come it will go back to state s 0 with output 0 because sequence is not 1 0 it is 1 1 so in this way we draw state diagram for mil fsm here output depends on present state as well as present input then see how to write state table so see here present states can be s0 or s1 how many states i have two so two is finite number so i have two states state can be s0 or it can be s1 so these are present states so if my present state is s0 and input can be 0 or input can be 1 input can be 0 or input can be 1 so if present state is s0 and my input is 0 what is my next state my next state is s0 and what is my output output is 0 if input is 0 output is 0 but if my present state is s0 and my input is 1 then next state is s1 see this this column indicates next state so next state is s1 but my output is 0 then if my present state is s1 and if input is 0 then my next state is s0 and my output is 0 if input is 0 output is 0 if my present state is s1 and if my input is 1 next state is again it will remain in same state s1 and my output is now 1 so in this way we write state table so in exam if question is about introduction to mille machine or simply for understanding of mille machines you need to remember in mille machines output depends on present state it means present output and present input externally applied input based on that you need to draw state diagram this is called that state diagram for every state there are two possible outputs see for this state s1 possible outputs are 1 and 0 so output doesn't only depend on state it also depends on input based on this state 
diagram we can draw or we can uh, we can draw this state table here you need to know present state next state and output are important and these are the parameters you need to remember while explaining mille fsm or moore fsm now let's understand the applications of mille machine so these are the applications of mille machine so they are used in sequence detectors let's say sequence 101 to detect 101 or in this uh, uh, here in the same video the example was 11 to detect sequence 11 then serial binary adder so if i am adding two numbers 1011 plus 0001 so here 1 plus 1 is sum 0 carry 1 so here present inputs are 1 and 0 and the present state is 1 so previous data we need to remember so for serial binary adder we use mille fsms for traffic light controller so after red green will come so we need to remember present state is green and after this much amount of time next green light will turn on so in traffic light controller also we use mille fsms in vending machines for coin detection we use mille fsms parity bit generator then serial comparator and password detector so let's say my password is 1 2 3 4 so when i'll enter 4 my input 4 is important as well as previous states are equally important that previous output the previously entered bits were 1 2 and 3 so there also we use mille fsms so this is all about mille machines thank you so much for watching don't forget to share this video with your friends and like it and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching